Greetings, all. Greetings to all of you. I trust you can hear well. We just did the sound check. We're here to stand today. One issue you can see, you can also hear clearly as we take a stand. As promised, a public stand. A stand to make an announcement. But we have a very, very serious issue on our hand in this country. And in the light of all the developments, the Madia 20, this Dharamlal Mara, we are here to stand today. We are here to stand as a group of people who are here to make a statement to those who are the head of state, to those who function in various agencies of the state. You have to understand that all the apparatus in this country have shown us that they are prepared to work against us as a people. And for that, we're here to stand. We're here to stand today. I'm here to make a very clear statement that must be registered across Guyana and across the world that there are still those in this country who are prepared to stand against injustices. So we warm up and we make our voices heard and known. But the atrocities in Guyana must end. How are you, sir? Good, good, good. You're doing a good job, Bob. Keep doing your work. So we have to take a stand. This country must be governed properly. Today's position here is about good governance. That's what we are about. It must be governed fairly. There must be justice in Guyana. Can you all see me here clearly? Let me know. We must be governed fairly and justly. We should not be saying that the police were searching for some man who allegedly raped a 20-year-old, hunting the man down, and a minister in government has the privilege of walking in and walking out and telling Ali he's going to admin leave. We are here to speak against injustice. We are here to speak for the indigenous people. 20 of our little children were killed and nobody in administration lost their job. Not one soul. This country is bleeding. This is not right. This is not right. And the most recent development, where a little girl has said that she no longer wants to, her father actually said that she said, she no longer wants to pursue this damn real matter. Well, that has brought us out here today. Because something is seriously wrong in Guyana. When you keep checking, we are here to announce today that the silence can't work anymore. There are too many silent faces in Guyana. We want to hear your voices. We want to see your presence. Because we demand justice. We are here today to demand justice. We are here to demand justice. We are here to demand justice. You can't tell me, DPP, that you need all this time to go through the file and then suddenly you want the police to give you more investigation. More of what? The law is clear. The victim has no reason to prove anything beyond the complaint. The complaint was made. You have to act on the complaint. We demand justice. 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 There is no way the chairman yes. will advance. There is yes. no way that the chairman of Guyana must feel unsafe justice. in the presence justice. of the law. We demand justice. 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 For it. We are demanding it. The office of the president has failed this child and is failing children of Guyana. The 
can't tell me that you read what everybody has read it in finale. How can you tell me that you read what we all read from the girl and, and Nandalal is still called minister? Daramlal! Daramlal! Yes. 
send the DPP, send back the fire. Mm -hmm. For further investigation. What more does right. she want? Right. Correct. Right. The sexual offenders have said there's no need for no collaboration. No, 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 and then right. forward against his form. Exactly. And in terms of the offense of sodomy, there's no issue of consent. No. So you can't consent to that. Thank you. You have enough already. Thank you. Thank you. you have enough already. Enough already. Right? This man needs to go. Yes. This man needs to go. This yes. man is an embarrassment, not only to the PPP, not only to the government, but to the people of Guyana. Yes. 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 Opposition MP, I tell her she wants a dildo. No. Yes, from the time that happened, oh. she should have shot him. Yes, she should be released. And yes. before that, yes. you had an incident yes. where yes. Um, some yes. man working in the IDB mm -hmm. was involved with his wife. Right. Yes, his right. ex wife. And yes. he reported, yes. and that matter was settled. Mm -hmm. Settled. Nasty. Settled. No trial. Right? And if the Attorney General, who likes to talk about Magistrate's decisions, Mm -hmm. Right? When that is not his forte, mm -hmm. he should talk now. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. He should talk now. Yes. And I, I look at all those PPP ministers, I hope I have a body party, don't invite that party. <laughs> <laughs> don't invite that party, don't invite that party. Right? 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 Don't invite it. Yes. Yes. No but the law must take it to school. Yes. Yes. The law is clear. Yes. 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 The law yes. must take it. Oh, yes. This girl has given a statement yes. oh, on, which on which the police could rely on. Exactly. Yes. They could compel her to come to court. That's right. And let her go in the box and exactly. say she wants to give it. Let her go in the box. Let the magistrate right. ask her. Already promises made to you. Yes. Yes. Already threats made to you. Yes. Yes. Already yes. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Charge him and put her in the court. Correct. She said she wants to go for her. Exactly. 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 Now it's so the time Yes, That's it's right. now or never. That's yes, right. right? We yes. have That's to right. protect. Break your voice. We have to protect not only the Amarillo children, all the oh, young children. Oh, yes, all the oh, young children. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, right? All the children. All the children. Because they're going both ways now. They ain't got limits. Yes, thank you. Yes. Um, let me hear yes. Apostle London and then Annette. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then, well, we got a chance again before we bring Anna back. Yes, we got a chance again. 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 Find the girl, the police to find the girl. They find you looking right here. 
If they could find me, they could find her. Correct. If they could find us, they could find her. Yes. She's too far to find. Correct. This country must know that there is a righteous remnant. And there are people still left here who are not afraid to stand against you. Y'all must know that we still have people in Guyana who are not afraid of y'all. We are not afraid of anyone y'all. If an Ali should not be president of this country, you have sworn to protect. You have sworn to defend the Constitution. And that Constitution supports the sexual offense to that. So how you could not base on the Constitution? When you Prasad, you have, you have, you have the right responsibility and connection to the Child Care Protection Agency. How have you not come forward for one day and told us what's happening with this girl? Tell us why she's in custody. What is the problem? What is the threat? Why is she being held? Why? Still we can't know where she is. We don't know where she is. We don't know what she said. All we are getting is response from the police force that the girl was not in that access to attorney. Says who? Come on, man. And I'm here to say to all and sundry that not just this one girl, the Madia Clinton, the 19 girls of Madia, and the one boy be forgetting about that. Don't feel like this is going to override that. You have slaughtered our children. Are we taking that for granted? There is no way that Guyana should be quiet, that Guyana should be normal, that Guyana should be easy. Look all this happening here. That's why it's our community that have no need to And I'm thankful. And I want to say that I stand in solidarity. And I declare, like a bustle, that in this nation, we still have people who will stand for yes. righteousness. Yes. 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 For truth. Yes. Yes. And when you stand for truth, you're different. Yes. Yes. So we don't mind if you're different. Yes. We don't mind when you call us name. Yes. But what we know, that what we will do is what is right. Yes. 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 And we are standing here today for what is right. right. Yes. Yes. Damn yes. love must have his day in court. Yes. 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 The child should be treated yes. like a child. Yes. Yes. The child have a right to a lawyer. Yes. yes. If you're innocent, what is there to hide? Yes. What is there to hide? Correct. And I want to call on all Guyana and Guyanese people. Yes. This matter, you know, Apostle Laureline, Don, and all of you out here, I want to thank you. Because you're the reason why this matter will still go ahead. Yes. Right. yes. Because you know why for the media, this match is done because every day is the next news. Right. But for us, there's not the next news. No. no. Until Darmla have his day in the court, we will not relent. We will stand resolute. Yes. We stand resolute yes. because this is a struggle for girls, for Kyrie's girls and boys. So many girls being gang raped. Right. Just send them to the police station right. right there. In Tigerman, in South, in Rock and they went to the police, go to Child Protection Agency, and nothing say is it, happening. Sodomiting our young boys, yes. and women are shame. And when they don't sodomite these boys, the same, but they born as a girl. Wickedness. Yes, I'm saying this struggle is the biggest struggle in this country. Biggest struggle. It must. Come to an end. It must come to an end. And who will bring it to an end? We got to bring it to an end. 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 We got to understands the cause. The Anna fought independent. That was the freedom from Britain. This is a moral of all we face today. Yes. People yes. lose a sense of right and wrong in this country. Yes. When the office of the president can't protect a child, or the president in office can't protect our children, we got a moral problem. Yes. When Dan yes. yes. tell him that he wants to go and leave exactly. and still get our money, we got a moral problem. Yes. We got a problem because with that. Because these man has lose their job. We've been 
play with this. So our father, all the way from Cartoon, will talk. And let it be on record that the man has spoken. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, my brother. As an apostle of the Lord Yeshua, I cannot, in a nation of ours, keep my mouth shut. In something like this, what's happening in our nation. It is, a, it is sad, real sad, to know that a 16-year-old has been traumatized and according to information, we heard that she was raped, sodomized. It is sad. And this is just, to understand, this is just the tip of the iceberg of what's happening in our country. As a young man, when I traveled to Saparuta in the days, in the 90s, I see these things in the community of Saparuta and Oriala, where young girls are being lured, Amerindian girls are being lured to have sexual pleasure with big men. And because of young girls and young boys who are shaky when they're in teenagers, mm -hmm. our adults and men and women has come up with laws to protect them. Right. And we have such laws to protect our young people. But our laws are only there to protect a few. And our young people are not protected according to the laws. And more so, we have politicians and more so, we have our leaders who PPP, who are leading us at this moment in this country, we have leaders who are being paid by our money, the taxpayers' money, and they are there as servants. By the way, I don't back PNC, I don't back PPP, I don't vote in this country. The last time I voted in this country was 2015, when I and I don't afraid to talk about it right. when I vote for coalition but after the, the coalition has raised the minister's salary I say we get exchange and we don't write it <laughs> so since then I vote back but that will not stop me for talk about the wrong right. things right. that's it you the president and all the ministers and members of parliament you are being paid by our taxpayers' yes. money Servant. and you are there as servants Servant. to serve yes, us yes, and yes. to make sure we in this country, especially our young teenage girls, yes. are well protected. Yes, sir. Even the police are being paid with our taxpayers' money and you are there to protect us, yes. not to allow abusing to come to us. Wow. I hope this message reach you all real and clear because it is sad and let me say this you see my brother apostle Yahweh he is the one that raise up leaders and pull down leaders right despite how you like it or despite if you not believe it or not he is the one who set up governments and right. pull them down I could recall in 2016 when my brother speak to David Arthur Granger, our former president of this land, and warned him in a prophecy he did not listen. Today he is out of office. He did not listen. Now, again, you are being warned. Now this ruling government are being warned. Now let me tell you this. Let me tell PPP this. Yahweh protect the weak. We protect the poor. We fight for the poor. He watch over when people bring injustice to people. When leaders bring injustice to people. And I'm going to warn you all here. Don't play with Yahweh. Don't play with Yahweh. He, again, he set up government and pulled down government. 
people, nobody in this world can play with Yahweh. So I'm warning you, make sure justice come in this land. And more so, this little girl, that she get fair trial and justice prevail. Yes. Yes. Or Yahweh, you will have to face Yahweh. Yeah. Or he is Yah of all the earth, of all the earth, all the inhabitants of the earth. He is Yah, Lord over all. We demand justice. We demand justice. We demand justice. We demand justice. So we are all vulnerable and the only way we can reduce that vulnerability is by representing with a face and a voice. No, that's all right. I'm One of the things that has bothered me is that more of our people from the hinterland have not been come down to represent. But I tell you something, I am seeing and in contact with the people in the hinterland. And in fact, I was supposed to be in the hinterland today to mobilize people to come into Georgetown. But of course, because the, 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 the situation is very fluid, you know, there are certain things, there are certain actions that there are a group of people, some of us are, are, are looking at other options that we can use to seek justice for this young lady. Now, I want to repeat, even though the young lady is the focus of attention, we also know that this is not the first, and if this monster is allowed free reign, it will not be the last. This nonsense about the presumption of innocence until proven guilty is it is something that we must we must we must understand. But I do believe that under the circumstances there is enough evidence and the country, the officials, this is not the first time that the president has heard about this now. Thank you, sir. You know, and this man, this man has taken his vulgarity into the most hallowed house That's right. of our people. That's right. But we're still protecting him and we're still guarding him. But I tell you something, the man made a statement. He says if he goes down, everybody else at Freedom House will go down. So, so that says it all to me. That says it all to me. So, so we must have faith in the system. I'm speaking to people and some people are saying we're scared, beckoning back to the 400. I refer to them as the 400. Those of us who old enough know about the 400 uninvestigated deaths. Right. And that is something that is hanging like a cloud over the heads of people. And it is, the, it is the one thing that is keeping people back. But I'm saying to them, 
at this stage of the game, if you stand, you die. If you don't stand, you will still die. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? So, my brothers and sisters, I speak not only on behalf of our Chinese people, because as I said, we're vulnerable. But as a member of those communities, I especially speak on their behalf because they're not here to do so for themselves. Thank you very much. Against him. He 
Right, no charge. That, that could just wash out the nigga like, like back to one million dollars, and that's it. Right. But, but yeah. what yeah. is happening yeah. is that yeah. to our children, yeah. our children, you know, there are agencies, constitutional agencies in this country that is supposed to step out and represent our children. Yes. They are actually given budgetary allocations in Parliament. And I'm calling out the Rights of the Child Commission. Thank you. I'm calling out the Rights of the Child Commission. Yes. You know, there, there is another point I want to speak to. And when you look at me, you will know who I am. I'm a Muslim woman. And I want to say to the world, yes. what the president has done yes. is a Muslim leader. Yes. What he has done in this matter is injustice. Yes. Yes. He has oppressed Around. our young girls yes. by not taking the yes. right decision. Yes. My sister, my sister in faith is being controlled and so the DPP cannot make the decision that is necessary. You understand that we're living in the last days and these things are going to happen. But we have to fight for right. Yes. Yes. We have to fight for right. And right is not relative because God has spoken to all of us as humans yes. as his creation. Right is not relative. It's not right for Simona and wrong for me. It's right, right for all of us. Right. Let me say one more thing. That we will not condone one individual derailing the moral fabric of our society. Right. Daniel has repeatedly has repeatedly committed wrong on our regard children. Our, our women in parliament. Yes. And we want all of the women in there to understand when one girl child is hurt, all of us should be hurt. All, yes. all of us should be hurt. Yes. 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 They don't deserve that. I want to commend all of us for coming out and for being consistent. It is the only way that we will see change. We should not stop. We are not stopping. No retreat. No surrender. 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 Justice is given to this young man. Yes. Yes. The government of Guyana has continued to show that they are complicit. They arrested this young woman. They kidnapped this, this young woman in the guise of protective care. Yes. Based upon my understanding and the intelligence that we are receiving, this young woman has been questioned like a criminal. She is being treated as the one who, as in the one who allegedly committed the crime. Not terminal. When Tamilal is able to go home and sleep in his bed, this young lady has been at 12 o'clock in the night. This is a young lady who is traumatized and to be treated by this way, in this way by the government has there's a lot of concern for all of us in Guyana. We must dictate justice for this young woman. We must not sleep. 
We must not rest. We must continue to press for equal justice in this country. We, as an attorney, as I could say this to you, all that is required on that statement for them allowed to be charged is for a young woman to say that he took his penis and put it in a part of me without my consent. And let me say this as a lawyer as well. There's no consent for buggery in our laws. None. So I do not understand and I cannot appreciate why the file went back to the police. We must go, we must check all of the other files. I have been speaking to several lawyers. I'm happy my, my senior here, former chief magistrate, who is here. This is all of former magistrates and former magistrates who is here and who are willing to come to the fight. We are going to fight a family. Form a legal team for this young yes, man. Yes, 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 and we yes, are going to press. And let me let yes, them yes, be aware. Yes, when they release that girl from prison, when they release that young lady from prison, Where's and she meet prison? with us, that is where the war starts with that girl. Yes, 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 that girl is still That girl keep her in there forever. She yeah. has to be released. Yes. Jack, you must know that this young lady must be released. Yes. Yes. The yeah, grand chief. Bro. Blanham, who is a father of a daughter, also must know that this young lady must be released. Yes. Yes. The commission of police, this young lady Thank must be released. Right. And when she's released, that she meet with her daughter. And remember that there's no time of limitation for it. So, Damilal, there's no easy thing for you, sir. Are you got a man right before you? 
you don't know what to do. You can't challenge anybody. Hunting. Hunting. We have a range of injustice in this country. The mayor stopped. Then this thing leaked out. And Darum Lau did not come out to defend him. Thank you, ma'am. Say something to me. Say something to me. Thank you. I mean, do something, do something. He did something. Saying 
that she is responsible for the lives of those twenty children. What happened to the adults who right. are facing the entire right. What happened to the state? The parents trusted the state Thank to send their children to school just to get a formal education. And then to learn that they died. The state has failed them. Yes. Yes. And the state continues to fail us. Yes. Yes. In this girl's case, the state is responsible for this young one. One hundred percent. But what we are seeing it's so sad. Even though today's family, we the decide that we have to come together for this purpose of CARICOM Day. And I ask that CARICOM countries to look into this matter yes. and support us on this day. Yes. Yes. And I'm asking us, let us continue to fight. We will continue to come out by the grace of God. He will give us this. Yes. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We demand justice. justice. We demand 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 justice. When? Now. When? Now. We demand justice. 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 We demand justice.
when I arrived here, I heard somebody say that there are many people in this country that are not free of the people who are Yes, we are and not. I want to re-echo that. <laughs> and secondly, anywhere in this nation where there is injustice, I will be present. Yes. I will be present. Yes. And I want that message to go direct to Mr. Jack Dale. Yes. Yes. I want that message to go direct to him. Cross. Thank you all. Thank you all here for coming. Yes. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Must go. Must go. Consciousness, yes. every sin. morality, and all of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And the but when, no. those, when those 
nation. Right. Because I believe we should not do anything unless the Lord Amen. leads us. And you know what happened? Immediately, my phone gave a ping. When I turned on the phone, I saw a Pastor London in a t-shirt saying, speak up and speak out. And because of that, I said, yes, God, I thank right. you for your sign. We right. may not be from the same household, but we serve the true oh, yeah. and the living, living. God. You cannot in good conscience see these things happening in Guyana. This is just the tip of the iceberg. But God has used this to push for good governance in right. Guyana. Guyana needs good governance. Good governance. Guyana needs integrity in its institutions. Guyana needs people who are bold and who are fearless, who are courageous. Deuteronomy says that you should not be afraid Thank of anyone. Thank you very much, For wherever you go, the my Lord goodness. is with you. you. And you when you are with, with you. God, you are ah. in the majority. Always. Those who are for righteousness, those who are for justice, those who are for truth, are more than those who are against yes. us. Yes. So don't worry about the numbers. It's not just about the quantity. Correct. Quality. My Bible tells me that it's not just about the quality, but it's also about the quantity. And I like the appeal that the sister gave to the religious community. Men and women of faith, this is not the time to cover in silence. Right, right. Come on. This is the time to use your prophetic voice and begin to declare what you want to see happen in Guyana. But faith without words is dead. Living temple. Call out the churches and the spiritual leaders in this nation. Come out, man, out. Come out from your caves. All of those prophets who are in hiding. Come out. Because you have allowed the spirit of Jezebel to intimidate you. To intimidate you. Come out. Come out. Come out. God say, come out of your caves. Come out. Those of you who are watching under your covers on social media. Come out. Come out. Come out. It means my sister's keeper. We talk about my brother's keeper. Amen. But today I want to say I am standing as my sister's keeper. Yes. Amen. Amen. We have to be our brothers and our and sister's keeper. Must go. Must go. Even the union come today. 
today is marking a change in Guyana, a revolution. Because we sitting back and have no chance and they don't want this anymore and it's over. It is not over down now. This is just the beginning for you. This is over. This is not over. Far from over. This is not over, not even remotely close to being over. So we saw, we saw member parliament. And what, what is most important to me is when she said she speaks as a mother. Yes. And they found fear. Be strong. And again I say, Guyana, to you men, leadership. He has rubbed me around when women leading y'all. Please, man. Let's come out and be men. Yes. It appears to be. So, Madam Amanza, yes, let your voice be heard, because I can't even move. Mm -hmm. And being one from Linden as well, some people don't fight. But Lindeners, we have a special place for fight and war. Talk, people don't fight. Why no, no, I said, don't fight me. Don't fight me now. Don't say, not me. Don't fight me. But Lyndon has like a man. We understand and we know that if you got Lyndon, you got George Trump, you got Essie Kribble, you got Buxton, you got Kerebutan, you got Bartika. We have all the men in theory. If all of us get together and put our fighting muscles in place, which politician in, 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 in PVP? No, 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 it would have been better for the PPPC administration to have allowed Nigel Durham Lau to face the consequences of his actions. I say to you today, it would have been better for right. them. Because in doing this, what they have done is that they have awoken the soul of a sleeping nation. And because like I said, as a mother, I am not prepared to stand by and to have a predator like Nigel Durham Lad go free. Say and I want to say to us, it's not even about what is on the book of the law. We've seen that this government has no bones about perverting the courts of justice. But there is a spirit that imbues our law, I tell you. And we are the people out there who are standing up for the spirit behind our laws. I am saying to everyone under the sound of my voice, it would have been better for the PPP <laughs> to have Nigel Durham Lad dismissed and right. 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 the consequences. Exactly. That's right. That's right. 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 What they have done is that they, they have laid bare for the entire world to see that they are a government that is comfortable sheltering predators. Yes. They are a government that is comfortable having their ministers abused and assault female members of parliament right. without any correction or reprimand. They are a government that cradles and fosters and suckers lawlessness. But the Bible said that it is righteousness that exalts a nation. Yes. And it says that sin is a reproach to any, so any people. Not just the people of God or Christians or Muslims. But it is a reproach to any people. We consider ourselves a religious nation. And every book of every major religion will tell you that it is a duty the fight against injustice. It is our duty. And I'm saying to us, Nayana, that if we do not stand up now, if not now, when? 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 If not now, when? We cannot spare our children. That girl has done all that she could do. Right. We must now carry on this battle. Yes. And Jackio and Ali and all of them that are complicit in this cover-up will know that the God of justice is still operates in Guyana. Yes. Yes. That the people of Guyana still stand for justice. And all of those who would say, oh, this is a plot of the opposition.
position. Yes. All of them who would say, oh, this is a 16-year-old girl, and what she doing talking with this? Yes. Irrelevant. That's yes. it. Irrelevant. Yes. He took advantage of a young yes. lady. He took advantage of his position. He groomed her. He assaulted her in the vilest place, and we know for a fact that this is not the first time. And I'm not using allegedly. I am not using allegedly because now is not the time for political correctness. Now is the time for us to be outraged as a nation. And those men and women in the PPPC who do not have the decency and the dignity to call out this behavior. You are going to be judged. Yes. You are going yes. to be Must judged. Be. Yes. You are going to be weighed in the balance and you'll be found wanting. Because Darum Lab must go. go. Darum Lab must go. go. He must go. In jail. Uh, in jail. Right. In jail. Go. Lab must go. Darum Lab must go. Darum Lab must go. Darum Lab must go. Must go. Must go. Must go. Must go. Must go. Perverting the course of justice against this child. We shall get to the bottom of it. We have to get to the bottom of it. We can't sweep anything anymore and hide it any longer. Nobody in Guyana must be above the law. No, the law must be for everybody. Any man in this time here, if a report is made to the station, that you rape somebody, they'll arrest you for 72 hours. Yes. yes. Oh, they'll arrest you. But he walks. Free to walk. Free to walk. Free to walk. Free to walk. Within a few hours. He got it. He's trying to avoid. We can't have this happening again. Oh, no. Mr. Whitton here is here with us today. A man who I know can speak and represent himself well in his reference his conscience. Yeah, brother. Whitton, welcome. Norris. I think you 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 are most in the price for for the for the flock card. You, <laughs> you save the best for last. <laughs> Mr. Deldo must Mr. Deldo must <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. For, it has been gone a long time. Yeah. Mr. Wilson, share your views with us. Those in the Aspar listen to you as well. I do. Uh, thank you for the ball, for granting me the opportunity to speak to this uh, issue. And uh, I was a little worried mentioning your first name. Yeah, me too. Because the name Nigel today... You're doing good in the end now, man. It's, well, it's not doing good. No. Let me put it that way. Right? No. You will see from my placard, it says Mr. Dildo must go. And you know what Dildo is famous for? But you would also notice that the mister is in uplifted commas because I'm not too sure whether this thing is a human or a beast. But even if I were to relegate the thing to a beast, it will be an insult to the beast. It will be an insult to the beast. What we have here is a predator on the prowl. Yes. A predator on the prowl. Now let me say this to you. I have heard some saying that this is not a political issue. Yes. It is a political issue because uh, Darum Lal could not have been in parliament. Darum Lal could not have been a minister if it were not for the political process. It is also an economical issue. And it is for that very reason that after he would have committed that dastardly act, he chose to bribe, allegedly, the mother with $10 million because it was considered by the beast that $10 million was sufficient 
to wipe that sin away. It is also a social issue. It is also a cultural issue. It is also a religious issue. Yes. But most of all, it is a human rights issue. Yes. It is a moral and ethical issue. And I'm saying to you here today that those who have not spoken out against this act is, are themselves guilty yes. of this heinous act. Now, I am happy that I've seen so far not only many reputable organizations, but many faces in the forefront of this uh, struggle. This struggle must continue. Yes. This struggle must continue to this logical yes. conclusion. Yes. That's right. And what is this logical conclusion I'm talking Jim. about? Jim. Not only this, the, Mr. Dillon must go, must mean that he must go from parliament, he must go as a minister, and he must also go to jail. Yes. Thank you. That is what it means. Thank you very much. Thank you, my brother. Yes. When the civic commission met, a beautiful phrase was calling in the region an implementation deficit. If months after that report, 
the recommendations for the safety, security, and sustainability of the dog were not adhered to, then we have what is called the reliction of duty. You have failure. We mold the nation, the teachers say. We are the windows through which a child sees the world. Parents, teachers, churches, yes, churches, yes. particularly the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, yes. who rebuked his apostles, the disciples, and said, Don't forbid them to come to me. Suffer little children. We sing it as if it's a song to children. It was a rebuke to adult leaders, apostles. He told them, permit them, allow them, let them come. Receive them, offend them not, despise them not. In heaven, their angels always behold the face of our Father in heaven. I'm quoting scripture deliberately. Because when people want to do the ostrich thing and bury their heads in the sand. Then who want to do the distance thing and say, that's not my calling. I'm here to share the gospel. At such times, I think of Paul, the apostle. And Paul reading from 1 Timothy 1. And as he spoke of God's love and God's truth, he said, the law is not made for so, 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 but for lawless and disobedient, ungodly and sinners, unholy and profane, murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, which should say now murderers of daughters, for men slayers, whoremongers. And then in verse 10 it says men stealers. That used to be called slavery. It's now called trafficking in person. And Paul said that and said, and any other thing that is against the gospel of the glorious Christ. In other words, all of those issues are gospel issues. It saddens and sickens me that we, the voice of God in the nation, as my brother in summer go and said, and he said uh, an evangelizing voice, a teaching and discipling voice, a prophetic voice, could be a voice silent at a time like this. It so is sad, sad. it is so sick. So so I've been listening to quite a few messages from Martin Luther King last few days. And one of the things Martin said at one point in the civil rights struggle was that in a particular city, the blacks who have more economic power than they realize should withdraw, withdraw their buying from certain places. It might sound unbiblical if people in the church withheld their tithes. If people in the church who are paid for these professionals and things heavily, I've never earned a cent from the gospel, right? I taught, I worked with you, and if you want to carry them. These people have been paid by the church. They get their tithes from the church, people. And when the people suffer, they say, that's not my calling. I read now from Proverbs 31. It's called training for reigning. Sorry to be so long, sir. <laughs> training for reigning. King Lemuel is being exhorted by his mother as he is being trained for national governmental responsibility and leadership. She called him to stay close to God's word, God's law. And then she said, speak up for those who have no voice to speak for themselves. That's right. Judge righteously. Protect the rights of the poor and needy. That is God's word. It's not an opinion from any umbrella group or any denomination. This is the word of Almighty God. I turn over to Proverbs 24. Some verses that meant a lot to us. What was it? 1993 to 1995 during the abortion debate. 
some of these truths came off the page to me. Rescue those being led away to death. Hold back those staggering towards slaughter. Hear this part. If you say, we didn't know. You know the guy in his thing? Uh -huh. We didn't know. Daniel Ellsberg, the guy who helped to stop the Vietnam War to leak in the Pentagon Papers, called what his government did plausible deniability. It's a nice term, meaning a set of scoundrels lacking spine, spirit, and scrotum, lacking courage, lacking credibility. Like to hide and say, have no testicular fortitude. You know, if they hear, we would do something about it. If you say, Proverbs 24, 12, we knew it not, does not he who ponders the heart as God consider it? Does not he who keeps your soul know it? Shall he not render to every man according to his works and implicit in this according to his lack of works? Not just what you commit or what you fail to commit. And then comes a verse that folk love Verse 9, it comes just before. If you fail in the day of adversity, your strength is small. People like to say, oh, we're strong. The weak have become strong. It's good songs based on good truth. The place to show the strength is when people are hurting and needing healing, Amen. needing support, needing leadership. Yes. And instead, you have people cowering in silence and almost developing a doctrine for their cowardice. The Christ of God marching to the cross said in the gospel, Go tell that fox Herod. I thought you were going to suggest who might be Herod in the whole country. Who might be Herod? Are you asking me? Tell Barak! And they have fun. Damn love and the whole crew. We have no fear. We have no fear. It's important for the voice or the voices in this nation who stand in pulpits to come forward now. Your response speaks to your position on this matter. Yeshua HaMashiach feared no man. How could the spirit well in us to be fair people? Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? That's what the book said. Yahweh is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I, shall I be afraid? If a thousand fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, it shall not come near me. Whom shall we fear? Brothers and sisters, we continue this fight. Yes. We'll be back in Georgetown. Yes. We'll be back. Why not? Yes. We'll see my boss. Yes. We continue in this fight. Yes. No gas fare, no gas price is too expensive for us to come from Linden or Bermuda. We'll continue this fight. Thursday is a very important day. Yeah. Are you having a Thursday? The U.S. Secretary of State is coming to Guyana. Yeah. If you ever see police in your life, yeah. on Thursday, That's all the judge now. I just want you all to know. I'm sorry if you come out to the flat. I'm sorry if you come out to the flat. I'm sorry if you come out to the flat. Let's say another man here. Brothers and sisters, let me say this. As a Christian, as a Bible-believing person, I believe every one of us who would preach the gospel or testify that we are saved and believe in it should not only be prepared to stand when things are good and quiet and in the halls of the church, but should come out and demonstrate against these kinds of injustices. In the book of Micah, Micah, I think 6, 8, six, eight. the, the prophet there talks about Standing up for loving mercy and to do Ooh, mercy. I want to commend this young lady for the courage she demonstrated yes. in writing what she wrote and yes. saying what she said. Yes, I also want to encourage other young ladies who have suffered similarly to do the same. 
Amen. We understand it, the amount of pressure this young lady might, might, must be under for her to be willing not to move forward at this time with someone's statement she said. But we are convinced she wasn't mad. Right. She wasn't crazy. It had to be something that's unbearable to cause her to back down at this time. She would write the president, write the parliament, write the international community and the business community, and still then just cop out at a certain time. The pressure was unbearable. But if I believe the woman, and I know thousands believe, what is required is that the indigenous community stand by your people. Don't take cheap uh, liquor and food and a couple of dollars and sell your people on the lines. I went to Africa. I stood in that dungeon in, in Ghana in, in uh, uh, Cape Coast Castle, Castle, as well as in Mila Castle. I mean, when those people began to tell you what our forefathers sold us for, whiskey, piece of bead, piece of glass, and other things, it brought out a lot of wrath in me. And, uh, and what was most unreasonable, it surprised me, right above the dungeon where those men were incarcerated in filth, sweat, blood, and everything else up to their needs, Right above there was a church. Yeah. Right above there was a church. From then, I said to myself, as much as people preach, you need to understand for yourself what this Bible has. This Bible expects each of us to stand up for the on, on the privileged, the unfortunate, and the poor. And I believe that if the church had been taking a stand long before now, this nonsense would never happen. Sir. When the church was sodomized in, in a, I think it was in Tiberi, when, when he was sodomized then, if the church had stood up, this yes, nonsense yes. would not have happened. Thank you. If we don't stand up now, it will continue to happen. Yes. There are thousands of young girls who are um, scared of going out by these decent jobs yes. because of what they have to face. Yes. If a person yes. goes to school, they qualify. You must be able to accept them on merit and not because they're proud and sex. I believe that we must maintain this pressure. Sometimes you get what you want in a short period of time. Amen. Otherwise, you have to go the distance. Yes. The yes. people in Argentina, for those who have disappeared, spent 20 years going after them until justice came their way. I believe finally, whenever we have an opportunity, we should remind the larger public that might be unwilling to participate. When your day come, you will know when to run. I believe. Also, yes. that as we stand firm, yes. others will join us. Yes. You must hear yes. the race is definitely up for the city. Yes. 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 We need to bring their consciousness. We need to let them understand 
that these are human beings like what they're guys like what they're, yeah. and they're taking advantage of them. We, we said we're going to be here last, last night here yes. to stand up for these people. And we must continue to do that. And we need to be able to get our legislators, those in the opposition, to continue this battle in Parliament, to put motion, the emergency motion for discussion. Let the speaker refuse right. the motion. This is exactly what stand Let for. him refuse. If he continuously refuses, there are other places that are listening, the international community are listening, yes. taking that into consideration. Yes. So when it comes for them to go and borrow money, they will have to go, they have to do human rights record mm -hmm. of what they have done. So every one of us here has a duty and responsibility. We must feel that each of us are important here. And we have a role to play. We have, each of us have a constituency. Don't depend on myself and on Nigel and other people who are who have actually taking the challenge oh, oh, right up into the open. We are not afraid. The establishment wants us to be, to be afraid. afraid. Yes, and free we free 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 never yeah, be afraid. Never be afraid. There's only one thing that can happen. You will die. Yes, yes. And all of us will die at the end of the day. Yes. 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 There's no life and fear. We're getting out of life. Whether it is now or then. Yes. So if each of us hold our post, then we need to build that structure on the ground. Yes. We need to quickly build that structure, prepare for the next election. Yes. This battle is a political battle. I've said it over and over again. The reasons why Jadeo had had to put himself in front to try and save Daramla from going to jail was Daramla had threatened that he was going to expose all of them. Wow, I ordered yes, all, yes. all, all involved. Yeah. All involved. Yeah. All the the sex ring trafficking is running the Amerindian community. I'm going to allow to going yeah. to yeah. some of the yeah. incidents. Okay. Mr. Jadiel himself will witness yes. to the abuse of women and of his own wife. Yes. Oh, wife went there. That's a classic example that he's not leading the nation. Not support to the women of our country. Why there are so many women who are unemployed, single parents, and they're not being assisted? What's going to happen to the children if they're not having any assistance? No, no, no um, child care facility, no allowance, and so on. So we're building a country on not solid ground. And I hope that everybody here. Continue this battle wherever you come from. Continue to work with us, to come on our program, to message us, and to make on us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everyone. Free the gun! No! 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 Track and track and track, yes. so we can know how, just how we move it. Yes. Just keep your phone handy because this fight must not end today. This must mark the beginning. I thank all of you who traveled from so far, including me, and those who came from Georgetown. Let's keep encouraging each other. To my sister here and to others, this marks an important day for Guyana. Yes. To all the members of parliament who came, you are you are legislators, you make laws for us. Yes. And you are showing us that there's still hope. Yes. My hope is that those from the PP Civic Camp will come as well. To show which side you are. Yes. And I can tell you all, at some point, you'll have to come forward and say which side you are. Yes. Because when the nest begins to shake, yes. any chicken who can't fly, you're in trouble. We 
we are not going to let our daughters go by crying oh. and in sorrow. As I said to you all in Madia, I showed uh, my sister here the photographs. They're taking the, the, the material from the building that was burned and filling road. That's the kind of heartless creatures we have to use in this country. So it's up to us to make the difference. I thank all of you all. Thank you so much. Our stance continues. No retreat. No surrender. No retreat. No surrender. No retreat. No surrender. No retreat. No surrender. No surrender.
the police officers, and I hope their commander and, and the assistant commissioner, all the people up there understand that we appreciate these women of, uh, and men out here today. They have done their work, they did not interfere with us, they sat there or they stand and they allow us because they know all we needed today was a space where we can vent. We need that if we want to heal in this nation. People, this is a, this issue of this child's allegation. It is so immoral, it is so depraved, it is so nasty, it is so cruel. And Guyanese people, we can shock our conscience, we can't comprehend that an allegation of this nature would, it would be redrawn. We never know what a child until now. Yes. And so people are genuinely hurting yes. and they need a space to talk, to have a conversation. And Minister Brooms, Minister Ferguson, Apostle London, the organizer of this venting space today, I want to commend you for your foresight. I want to commend you for understanding the government of Guyana should have organized this. Because it's our people who need to vent. Because sometimes we have all these things pent up in us and then we go there and we do crazy things that hurt ourselves and hurt other people. And so to have this space here where we can come and have decent common conversations about issues that are so important to us is important. I used to have, or we used to organize a market meeting, we used to call it the parliament every Friday. This market space used to allow to, you all know. And that was another conversation forum where all kinds of things happening and where people need that if we to progress. Sometimes the answers don't come from those in government or those sitting in the parliament. Answers to problems come from people like you. We the commoners, yeah. if you want to call me though. So you have questions, you have answers, you have solutions within you. And leaders have to start listening to people like us. Yes, yes, yes. We can deal with the problem, just give us the opportunity. And so I want to thank all of us. But be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. Like again, I'm saying, we want to thank the police officers today. Some of them don't always come be safe. But today is a good day. Right, right, right. And we got to give credit where credit is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate them and we thank them. Mr. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to add by saying, while my sisters would have thanked each and every one of you for coming up, I just want to thank you. Personal, yes, 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 No yes, 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 I have no fear. Just like a man who died 20 years ago. I know you're going back, but I want to tell you. Cover him, cover him. Cover him, yes, amen. The tigers of Almighty God upon your life and that of your family. Those you have, those who you have brought along with you. So as you journey back 65, 66 more miles from the city to the end, with the grace of Almighty. Amen. And continue, continue to fight. And I want you to know, you are not alone. You are not alone. That's why I'm standing. Right. Glory. Glory. I've got another poem here. Yeah. I'd like to just put a little bit of ice cream on the table. Right. <laughs> but before I do that, I want to say I'm a proud father. souls and confused minds caught in the tidal wave of time heavenly glory are to find lucifer continues to mold the world's destiny 
modern technology, the new idols, consumes the worldly minds. What if man should understand the snares and pits set for souls of men, hearts of many entertains and which tongues speak at lies? What if we should understand? This world is not our home. Nations prepare to launch their attacks from the four corners, lingers the smell of death, violence and crime, sorcery and witchcraft, isms and schisms, the world's confusion. But I dream of a world where love pervades the universe, where there is no hunger, no crime, no violence. I dream of a world where black and white live in love and harmony. I dream of a world where our leaders are guided by God the Creator, a world free from sin, free from laborious toil, free from natural disasters, a world where all boys and girls respect each other. I dream of a world where HIV and AIDS do not exist, a world free from pain and sorrow, a world free from corruption, victimization, and racial discrimination, a world without a nuclear threat, a world where there is no longer death, a world where the hearts of men are filled with God's unfailing love. A world where there is one. A world where all men and women shine as the stars in the heavens. Oh, what a beautiful world that would be. Daramilal must go. Daramilal must go. Daramilal must go. Daramilal must go. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. What love to you. Alright, thank you everyone. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes,